Equivalent ratios. Right, let's have a look at this question. Are the ratios 1 to 4 equivalent to 5 to 20? Okay, are the ratios 1 to 4 equivalent to 5 to 20? In other words, are these ratios the same except just written in a different equivalent? Let's have a look. First of all, I put it as a fraction, like 1 to 4, I put the 1 over 4. 2, 5 over 20. Now I want to prove, is 1 equal to 5, is 4 equal to 20? Just like fractions, are they equivalent? So I'm going to change that 2 to an equal sign. So 1 equals 5 and 4 equals 20. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the top. The 1 to the 5. How did I make 1 to 5? How do I make 1 to 5? What do I do? Okay, we can only multiply or divide. Well, what I did to make 1 to 5, I multiplied by five. One into five, go five times, so therefore we multiplied by five. Okay, to get me five, I multiplied one times five equals five. Now, if that works for the four, and we can use five for both the one and the four, then, yes, they are the same. Okay, and yes, it does work. 4 times 5 equals 20. That's 5 over 20. So yes, the ratios 1 to 4 is equal. Okay, are the ratios 3 to, 4, 3 to 10 equivalent to 15 to 60? 3 to 10 equivalent to 15 to 60. So again, I'm going to write these out into fractions. 3 over 10 equals... 15 over 60. I'm trying to find out, well, are the ratios equivalent? Okay. Well, 3, how do I make 3 into 15? If I can do the same to the top and to the bottom and they get 15 over 60, then it is. So, 3 to 15, don't forget either multiply or divide. What do I do to make 3 into 15? 3 times 5 equals 15. So we're multiplying the 3 by 5 to get me 15. Now we can check that. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Now, if we multiply the 10, the denominator here, by 5, do we get 60? If we get 60, Yes, it is equivalent. If not, then they're not equivalent. Okay? So 10 multiplied by 5 equals 50, which means these ratios are not equivalent. Now, times 5 by 3, if we multiply 10 by 5 and we got 60, yes, but we don't. So they are not equivalent.